One of the most crucial tools for protecting your data is encryption. Your files become inaccessible without the right encryption key after you have encrypted them. And there are two types of encryption, software encryption and hardware encryption. Hello and welcome to another iStorage data protection video. Today we're putting software encryption and hardware encryption head to head to see which one will come out on top. By the end of this video, you'll understand what encryption is, the different types of encryption, and which one will give your data the security it deserves. So let's begin. Software encryption. Software encryption uses tools to encrypt your data. Some examples of these tools include BitLocker for Microsoft Windows, FileVault for Mac OS, or CoverMe for Android. They all use encryption tools to protect the information on your PC, your phone, or your tablet. Software encryption is typically cheap to implement, making it very popular with the general public. However, software encryption is only as secure as the rest of the PC, meaning that if a hacker can crack your password, the encryption is immediately undone and everything you saved on the device is fully accessible to anyone. Now let's talk about hardware encryption. Hardware encryption is self-contained within the device itself and it does not require any additional software. At the heart of hardware encryption is a separate processor dedicated to the task of authentication and encryption or decryption of the data. Now, the technology still relies on an encryption key to encrypt or decrypt the data, but this is randomly generated by the encryption processor. So overall, because hardware encryption is maintained separately, it is much more secure than software encryption. Nowadays, it is actually almost impossible to intercept or even compromise. But that's not all. Let's actually dig deeper and see how hardware encryption outperforms software encryption. Starting with permanence. Because software encryption exists in the software of the machine, it needs to be reinstalled if the operating system is changed. Hardware-based encryption, on the other hand, resides outside of the computer's domain and will remain in place regardless of what happens to the computer or the software. System performance. Software-based encryption uses the computer's processor to handle all data encryption or decryption, which may cause the entire system to slow down. But hardware-based encryption actually runs on its own hardware, meaning that it has no effect on the overall performance of the system. As such, we can conclude that hardware-based encryption operates much faster than software-based encryption. Brute force attacks. A brute force attack is the most common attack on encrypted data. It works by the repeated guessing of the password or encryption key. Software-based encryption schemes will usually attempt to limit the number of decryption and login attempts. But because they utilize the computer's resources, hackers can actually access the computer's memory and reset the number of attempts. In essence, giving them unlimited time to guess your password or decryption key. And here's another thing. Brute force attacking softwares are now commercially available. This type of software automatically enters as many password permutations as required until it cracks your password meaning that the hacker does not even need to manually guess and enter your password. Luckily though, hardware-based encryption does all its processing on a dedicated chip that cannot be accessed by the computer. So this method of brute force attacks will simply not work. Dependence of operating system security. Once again, software-based encryption is only as secure as the computer it is running on. If hackers can get a malicious code onto the computer, they can modify or disable the encryption. Hardware-based encryption, on the other hand, runs independently of the operating system. So it is not exposed to these types of flaws. Software-based encryption is also limited in terms of which operating system System it can operate on, whereas hardware encryption is usually OS agnostic and it can be used on any computer or embedded device that incorporates a USB port. Usability. Due to the complexity of some encryption software, users might decide to turn it off, nullifying any protection. But encrypted hardware storage devices run on a plug and play basis and the encryption is always active neither malware nor end user can turn it off i can give you 10 more reasons of why hardware encryption outperforms software encryption but i think you guys got the point 
If you're working with sensitive information or data, then hardware encrypted devices must be part of your IT infrastructure. But the question is, which provider should I choose and trust? Well, iStorage provides the world's most secure pin authenticated hardware encrypted data storage devices that securely encrypt, store and protect data to a military standard iStorage devices are actually used by governments, military, and even multinational corporations across the world. On top of all the awards, the accreditations, and the certifications that these devices hold, they actually give the user the advantage of compliance with stringent data protection and confidentiality regulations and directives, such as GDPR, HIPAA, SOX, CCPA, and many more. For more information on these devices, we actually made an entire video series explaining in great detail how our solutions work.